deviancy in police forces isn't just confined to those with a warrant card, it seems. After Greater Manchester Police Dispatcher, 27-year-old Joe Taylor from Worcester, indecently assaulted a man at a Christmas party in Birmingham by putting his left hand on the victim's butt and his right hand on the front of his victim's trousers, cupping, cupping his tackle. Graham Russell, prosecuting at Birmingham Crown Court, said the victim had been out with friends and had a number of drinks and had gone to a bar. He had been dancing energetically when he was approached by Taylor, who he did not know. Taylor then put his left hand over the buttocks of his victim and his right over the front of his trousers. Mr Russell said the victim later made attempts to find out the identity of the person who had assaulted him. Now there appears to have been CCTV or mobile camera footage of the night in question that caught the incident as Judge Dean Kershaw said I have watched the footage and everyone it appears was having a good time. It was done in your mind with nothing but good humour but there can be no doubt that grabbing somebody even over clothing in that area of the body is sexual touching. This takes place on many occasions in public houses up and down the country, but that does not make it right. Doing what you did, even if it was light-hearted, can have a devastating impact on people. In a statement, the victim said that he felt shocked that this had happened to him. Violated that a man he did not know felt that he could approach him and touch him in that way. He was annoyed and extremely angry and that he had been the victim of a sex assault in his childhood and that this had brought the trauma back. However, even hearing this from the victim, Judge Kershaw at Birmingham Court said, it was an unusual case, there's that word again, unusual or exceptional. Why does that seem to be used so often now? Judge Kershaw said it was an unusual case and continued, there was no malice or hostility. It was, in my judgment, you not thinking at the time, and I suspect it was influenced by alcohol. He therefore gave Joe Taylor of Windermere Drive in Worcester, who, by the way, pleaded guilty to two charges of sexual assault, a conditional discharge for six months and ordered him to pay £500 in costs. So there we have it. Sexual assault is now okay providing you were drunk and you were not doing it maliciously. Just blame the alcohol and the fact you weren't thinking at the time and when you appear in court, refer to this judgment and you should get to walk out of court basically a free man or woman. Now, I'm joking, of course. I'm certainly not encouraging anybody to go out and do that kind of thing, obviously, but why the difference in punishment between a male victim and a female victim or perpetrator? You can bet your ass that if he had done this to a woman, the courts would be making an example of him. Well, actually, maybe not. He's kind of protected in the fact he works for the police. But I suppose a general member of the public would be dragged over the coals, whether it was a man or a woman. But this certainly isn't showing equality under law. Are men not as important as women now? Do men victims not need to see the justice done when they are touched up just because they're a man? The system's broken, and yet, though clowns running it, simply can't see it. 